What is going on, guys? My name is Elliot Ingebretson with The Grateful Web, and today we are joined with Denver's finest psychedelic rock band. It is the guys from Rada. What is going yes. on, guys? Let's what up? Go. What up? Yo. Stoked. This is the Radcast episode two. We are back in action. We did the interview for The Grateful Web last month. It went so well, we decided to do it again in a tabletop format. A little, little more relaxed, a little more yeah. chill. A little tabletop. And uh, here we are, boys. How are we feeling? Good. Really Great. good. Yeah, good. stoked yeah. to be Fantastic. doing the Radcast. I, th I, think. I think it's going well, I yeah. I think it's going to be a thing. We're going to really try to rock with it. Uh, it's a new way to just bring some content to people and, and just talk about what's going on with the band, what's happening in the scene. We got a lot of friends in Denver. We got our guy Matt Bell over here Who's hanging that guy? out. Who's who, that who, guy? Who, it's who? Mart. You know, this is what we, we really want to just do as a, as a group is just invite you guys into some of the conversations that we have in the yeah. I needed to be here today. Room. I think. <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> Get the dough I, to the people. I was the necessary addition. I don't know if I'm the subject matter expert <laughs> or, or, or not, but um, I'm here to participate. Yes. So we're going to be breaking down all things Rado. We're going to be talking tour stories. We're going to be talking the new album. We're going to be talking all the stories from the road and covering everything in the world of Rada. We're also going to be bringing it live and direct from the Colorado music scene, covering everything that's going on around town. Because frankly, I don't know about you guys, I think Colorado has the best music scene around. <laughs> LA's cool. Absolutely. Hot stuff. LA's yeah. cool. Goddamn. New York's all right. I yeah. think we got it pretty good here in yep. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. doubt. Bless up. There's We're definitely that collective just unison in the Colorado yeah. scene. Like people are building each other up yep. out here. Too many shows to go to. I don't know yeah. what shows to go to because there's yeah. so many. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. And we're going to be talking all things. We're going to go all over the place. We're going to talk a little uh, macro level jam band stuff. We're going to see what we get into here. So it's good to be here. Again, thanks for having us. Thanks for joining. Good and, to see uh, you, man. Yeah. Good to see you too, bro. So, uh, so let's kick things off here, guys. How are we feeling? What's new in the Rado world? Wow, we just so we just took a break. You yeah. know, yeah. six seven, yeah. we did the interview. What is a break for Rado? Yeah, what, what does that, that mean? <laughs> it's Great six, question. Six weeks off of no shit. Well, I we had one. Practice. I think I keep calling it six weeks, but yeah. it's clearly it was clearly only five. Totally. Five weeks in one <laughs> so practice. He's got a math problem over yep. here. Um, good thing I run the finances. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and in the break, you had to announce just a residency. Yeah, just yeah. To, to get that off. Just yes. a residency. Oh, yeah. We wrote. I mean, James wrote a new song. I think I wrote like twelve new songs. <laughs> yeah, you went on a bender yeah, for writing dude. songs. Well, I downloaded the new version of Ableton, and you know, and like they only do trials, so you only have thirty days. So it's sure, like better be fast. You're on the fucking yeah. clock. Like, let's, yeah. let's go. Let's pump them out. Pump them out. Pump, pump them out as fast as you possibly can. So we've. Yeah, you know, been doing that. Breaks are good. Breaks nice are refresh. really good. Yeah. 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 Mentally, like, I don't know. And we got a bunch of new gear. Mm -hmm. Like, we were, like, James just loaded in a chaos later into the, got into the, the practice. Pad. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I showed up with an RC202, and he was like, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's, nah. he's up in the loop game. What's up? <laughs> I've been thinking <laughs> for a while. Looking like Trey Anastasio to, yeah. in the 90s back there. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> I've been thinking that I need needed to get uh, some loops going, because I could do the arpeggio on the virus, but wanted to be able, be able to do more ambient well, sugar kind of strange digga sounds digga I can put in the background yes, and let yes. that ride, and uh, yeah, it was already like dusted it off. I was talking about how I needed a looping thing, and I was like, "Oh, I already have one. I used to use it in Kaleidoscope, my other band." Um, so pulled it out and plugged it in. Already, he tinkered over it into his yeah. closet where it'd been just <laughs> hiding, ready to go. Dust that baby Dude, off, Dude, and it makes like. Have you heard one of those things before? No, no. Oh my! Tell God. me about it. it Talk about it. It yeah. makes all I can describe it as is something that makes like rocket Sick. sounding bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a chaosolator or a chaos pad. K A O S. A lot of people out there will be familiar. Cork. Uh, but it's got a screen. <laughs> yep, that's right. Um, it's got a screen on it that you can touch and like drag your finger across and does a bunch of weird stuff. So you can put yeah. a synth on there and just like drag your finger all around and it goes. Yeah. Blast off. Sick. It's yeah. sick. Atmosphere, yeah. texture. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. So you guys are adding new features. You're writing new songs. Tell me. So when you guys write a new song, Dylan, are you writing? Who who all is like behind the writing of this? Do you guys write kind of on your own time and then bring it to the table? How does that Reci work? Recently. Yeah. 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 There's more. There's more of that than like getting in a room and starting fresh and being like, "Hey, let's write a song." Yeah. It can come in degrees of doneness. You know, sometimes it's like, "Hey, I got this cool chorus." 
just play it, and then all of a sudden we're like coming up with some other parts. But I'd say for the mo- first of all, Dylan writes the vast majority of it, like mm-hmm. 80, 80 to ninety percent. Um, and uh, yeah, they come in varying degrees of of uh, cookedness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, dough reference. <laughs> oh, first dough oh, reference. Oh, 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 do we have to take a, a sip when we get a dough reference? <laughs> sip okay, with the dough. Cheers. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like these guys have like a relentless practice schedule, but yeah. it's really cool to see how songs, you know, when the first time they play it live. Yeah. And yeah. Where it ends up over time. Yeah. Um, and you know they're open to trying new ideas. I think every time they get sure. on stage. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Lot Forty Six show. We did two new. Two ones. new ones. I was gonna say yeah. there's also a new, a new cover in there. I believe. <laughs> yeah. Right? We had only. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, hella good by hella no doubt. Good. Oh man, that's, that's a cool. Shout out Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't what a cool band, man. What? Yeah. We, mm, we, unbelievable. We mm. practiced it one time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple days before. Well, and I had no idea Kevin had those kind of pipes on him. Oh, he can uh, sing. He, he hits those he fucking does. high notes. Yeah, he Kevin's can the sing. best singer in the band. Yeah, we yeah. know it. We yeah. know it. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Don't let yeah. him hear that, though. We yeah. don't want to. No, yeah. Too Especially much. not through my head. Gotta hear set. my song. <laughs> yeah, all right. Kevin album. McKinnon. Yeah. Say that. <laughs> so, you guys are writing new music, and also the fall tour is kicking off, right? Yeah, that yep. started at Lot 46. And we've got a show, what, about every weekend, right? Coming every up multiple for Multiples, every, dude. Yeah. Every yep. weekend for six couple weeks. couple triple headers, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hitting some new places. Where are we hitting? Let's no. give a breakdown. Yeah, no new places, really. Doing a lot of local stuff. Yep. Um, like local to Colorado. We kind of like keeping it towards the end of the year, you know, a little tighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stay, stay in town and whatnot. Sure. So couple of mountain town shows we're going back to uh manitou springs down to the armadillo, armadillo. ranch we love that Whoa. place uh up to devil's craft and winter park that Sick. place is really cool we haven't been there in a minute actually it's been about a year and we're hoping to get a yeah. good turnout there and then we're f- going to uh omaha and uh lincoln for actually yep. three well, night birthday run Let's for these go, boys. boys yeah it's plus adam cool. lincoln pew, pew. Got a triple, yeah, and triple, Adam's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. triple birthday Adam weekend. Lincoln. We're playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's uh, the percussionist Adam's birthday Thursday, my birthday Friday, Kevin's birthday Saturday. Let's, Let's go. go, dude! Crazy. And that scene, yep. awesome. a lot of celebrating. Like, yeah, that scene's so cool in in Nebraska, like Lincoln, yeah. and and they got Omaha. a good scene out there, huh? Yeah. One of our favorite out of state, like no feels like shit. home turf. Like, Very cool. It yeah. does. Adam, Adam being there uh, was yeah, we love kind of you, the Adam. difference maker. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jay Lewis is out there too. Shout out Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, man. Yeah. So they show up. Fam. I'll just I'll yeah, tell you real quick, just because Jay is how I met Adam. I met Jay. Through a random fish Facebook group. Yeah, we needed an extra guy in our fish <laughs> yeah. Mexico hotel room. Yeah, fantasy tour, baby. <laughs> uh, so then we were on Nebraska. He linked us up with Adam. And I remember Adam texted me. We were supposed to play a show in Omaha. And he was like, hey, I'd love, you know, Jay told me, gave me your number. I'd love to come play percussion at you guys' show. Um, if, if not, it's totally cool. But I probably bring like thirty people with me, and uh, yeah, if not, I'm gonna go play with this other <laughs> guy. I don't want to play with you guys. We're like, yeah, yeah. we're uh, like, yeah, bring that this way for sure. The guy's so. the guy's schedule is packed. I mean, he plays yeah. in Omaha Beat Brigade and a bunch of other bands out there. Okay, yeah, there's this check festival. Like, check them out. Band. Yeah, there's this festival out there that we love. That we actually just PMP. dropped. Uh, yeah, Power and Progress. Yep. We just dropped a couple of uh, videos from it on our socials. And he is like, dude, there's two stages. He's like the only person on the golf cart with like the staff people just getting <laughs> bust between the stages. He's like, he's like yeah. Joe Russo dude, at Lock and Fest. He's yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to go play with dude, J-Rad dude, and outrageous. then I'm going to go play with he's the, the artist that further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's, we, love, we love Adam. We wouldn't, yeah, we definitely wouldn't have that kind of connection with that scene if it wasn't good for him. Yeah. You got to have, yeah. you got to have those plugs, man. I mean, you got to like, know dudes, especially like if we're talking fall tour, we're also going down to, um, Casey? Tulsa, yeah, Casey. Oklahoma. Yeah. And they changed, mm-hmm. they actually changed the venue. I don't know if you guys saw that to a big one in Tulsa. Like it's, it, Look, Kyle sent me a sick. video. Si- shout out to Kyle Garrett, dude. Dr. Dr. Junior. Dr. Dr. Junior. Dr. Junior. What you guys know about and, Dr. And, Dr. Junior? And you're speaking of <laughs> Friendsgiving, which yeah, is Friendsgiving. a festival that they put on down there in Tulsa. Yeah, it's yeah. going to yep. be awesome. And so Kyle's like our guy down there. You know, it's awesome to just have these people that are super interested in helping you break in to their scene without, yeah. like, and, like, obviously Kyle knows we got him out here if he comes out to Denver, and that's kind of, like, a known thing. But I don't think he's just doing that to help people out, and he's just like mm-hmm. that. Like, yeah. the dude runs, like, a music school for, mm-hmm. and, like, 
has a gear shop and he runs like all these Super programs cool. for kids and like getting them yep. like interested in music and he does like guitar camps. So he's like just yeah. a, you know, ultimate really fucking good dude, you and, know? And those are the types of relationships too that you gotta build. Yeah. And that's just gonna continue to grow the scene, continue to grow the let team. You and they're sick. Yep. Like grow Dr. Team. Jr. is one of my favorite out, out there yeah. in terms of uh, that was such a cool band. Yeah. Like There's, SCS yeah. nine met like uh you know the works uh, or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love yeah. that combo. Very yeah. vibrant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, Danceable. a lot of times the first time you you play somewhere on tour there may not be very many people there. You're just hoping that there's someone like that who mm. either is like a tastemaker in the scene or knows. There's usually one person there that sees you who's like, oh, my God, you guys are awesome. Let, let's get you over at my buddy's right. you know, sure. spot. It, it didn't take much with Kyle, there. though. Like, I remember yeah. when I was booking shows for you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, <laughs> you were hey. booking shows for us? He was a buddy. He was a buddy. He was co-signing. He was co-signing. He was co-signing. He was, co-signing. He was, co-signing. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. definitely not me alone, <laughs> no. to be clear. <laughs> But uh, you know, <laughs> Kyle smart going <laughs> rogue. <laughs> Kyle, like, yeah, guys, playing the whole tour. Kyle just like wanted to to help, you know. And yeah, he did. It wasn't like a clout thing. It wasn't, um, you know, quid pro quo or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. He was genuinely there to see us just come into his town and have mm-hmm. a great yeah. run of shows. Not a transactional so cool. right. relationship. Yeah. Right. Which, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of people like that that we've had the pleasure, I think, of meeting throughout yeah, the right. whole few years that we've been doing this. And that's the kind of, that's the sauce, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what's that like when you're approaching a new market like that, right? You keep branching out, you keep going, you push further. I mean, it's got to be a little bit terrifying, right, to try to book shows further and further away from where your core fan base is. Um Boy, he's yeah. got to keep building, man. Keep That's how it starts, it. man. Yeah, well, yeah, basically. Well, yeah, like I said, the, the first couple of times, you're just kind of hoping to meet hoping to. people. And I mean, you play different uh, venues. You're uh, trying honestly, get... got to give a lot of the, the credit to uh, the Grateful Dead because just there. Any any bar or venue out there in the country that's like <laughs> Grateful Dead has a Grateful Dead slant to it at all. You know, there's going to be people <laughs> there who love the music. People like to have a good you know, time. There's yeah. going to be people yeah. showing up. Um, so. A lot of times so it's true. finding the sort of like heady, headier places that kind of, you know, have had other bands like from Colorado, like the Magic Beans go out on tour, mm. Squeaky Feet, Squirt. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. So it's kind of like the the obvious waypoints kind of sure. uh, come through. Sure. But it's still, you still got to play there a couple of times for people to start showing up. And so it's. It is a grind. I don't know if it's on purpose, but you know, it feels like they're bringing the dough to the people sometimes. Yeah, it's like we, I, we are know, out there in we Joplin, Missouri. Like they don't have no. The they've never tier heard one shit jam like bands this coming. Yeah. Come, I mean, yeah. they've definitely heard the, stuff yeah. like this, but it's like they're 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 they're. they're I've never put my feet on Charlie Murphy's couch. They're hankering for that, dude. <laughs> And it's awesome. Uh, they yeah. love to come and get down and be a part of it. Learn, you know, meet new people, and that's that's what makes the scene. Of yep. course. Yep. A couple Absolutely. other big uh, big notes for Rado. I saw you guys announced a Halloween show. Yeah, capping yeah. it off in Denver. So Let's yeah, so go. we have what twelve shows coming up? Eleven shows yeah. coming up in October. Mm-hmm. Halloween, October thirty first, going to be at Lost Lake in Denver. So looking to yeah, just have a really fun homey hangout and get yeah. the yeah, just good Off old world. time. And it's on Home actual Halloween. Throwdown. It is yep. on Halloween. We're yeah, not doing is. the pre-weekend thing. We're throwing yeah. it down on a yeah. Thursday, baby. Thursday. The way Let's it was go. meant to be, dude. Yeah. yeah it, uh, it, we did it partially because there wasn't as much going on in Denver this year for Halloween as sure. there has been in other weekends. And uh, yeah, got to give a shout out to Off World Vehicle. Who were we want to sell it off-world. out. So let's do come out. Let's come out. So come out, thing. people. Let's yeah. pack that place. Yeah, it's like 200 capacity. That yep. should be a pretty... Doable, easy doable. Win for good doable family. Oh, another drink. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Don't worry. <laughs> nope, that one doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't get to slip one in. Well, as no, we're, we're in the dowry. <laughs> Wait, it, wouldn't it be the bakery? What's a dowry? That's a new thing. <laughs> is that a like question. a dowry? Created right What's now. It, are, you, like, are you like a, <laughs> like something you open up and we look in the mirror? The dough, that's what a dowry no, is. The dough is raised what is in the dowry. Is the, but that's the a money that the, the father of the bride no, no, gives. No, 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 no. But isn't there also... All right. I, I knew credenza. <laughs> I knew credenza <laughs> earlier. You got, you got off the Dude, rails. Dude, I'm telling you. Dowry is one of those one of those things. Gifts that the father of the bride gives to the Gives her a big loaf of bread. A, a loaf Dowry. of bread, or, or, or is just a or, mispronunciation or a of dowry. Yeah, oh, right, right. Of course, right. The new word that we're supposed to be learning. <laughs> yes, a lot of cool uh, things uh, yeah, going on, man. A lot of cool things. <laughs> 
about to uh, about to record a, another single, by the right way. Right in this room. Right, right, right here. here. Right yep, right at here. Camera Jam Studios. On Saturday. Okay. Yep. Shout Which out Logan. Uh huh. Love it. Love it. And so that'll come that'll be coming out when when can fans expect to be hearing that? Late November. Yep. Late November. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Mm-hmm. Family tree, just in time for Thanksgiving. Boom. Straight to the airwaves. Potentially Straight shortest to... song we ever play. Ship there it. you go. Yeah. Straight yep. to wherever you stream music. Yeah, yeah. Ship yep. it. Streaming on all your platforms. On all your platforms. Like, Everywhere. comment, Where and subscribe. Where we get your podcast. <laughs> 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 We're not even talking about a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so also on this podcast... In the future, I think we're going to have some cool interviews with some different bands around the scene. I hope we can bring in some other people. Yeah. Uh, between all the contacts we have here, we hope to bring you some cool and interesting stuff around the music scene. Uh, bring in some friends. Bring in some cool, uh, some cool meeting of the minds. I think. What's mm-hmm. cooking in the scene? Segment What's cook- two. Two, 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 two. <laughs> Does Segment two, two, two. two. Uh, yeah, what's cooking in the scene? Obviously, I mean, we kind of touched on it before. There's just so, so many artists out here, and that, that all take themselves really seriously. You know, I've been in a lot of places where there's just like artists. Or, I mean, it's great if you do it however you want to do it. But the, most of the musicians I know out here are like working their tails off, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah. really it is it is really one of the hardest working music scenes I think in the country. And and it, you somebody mentioned it earlier, but there every weekend you have to make a decision on what you want to see and what. <laughs> What you need to skip because, dude, there is not enough dude. time in the day to catch everything. <laughs> For yeah. sure. The funk, ses- funk sessions, when yeah. Cervantes started doing that, it reminded me of like New Orleans, like Jazz Fest. 100%. Kind of yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Just like literally an epic bill yeah. of musicians that you know from all these bands playing together, you know, on, an, uh, on a yeah. Tuesday. You nailed it. And I want to give a huge shout out to Cervantes because yeah. what they do on a week, week mm-hmm. in and week out basis, mm-hmm. no they doubt. bring in some of the best musicians yeah. around the world. And you nailed it too. Not every city is getting these mega groups, these super groups, where you're pulling Joey Porter and all right. these dudes. Adam Deitch. From these, yeah, Adam <laughs> Deitch. And you never know who you're going to run Isaac into on a, on a Tuesday yeah. night there. So shout out to Cervantes yep. for bringing the heat consistently. You need cultivators like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and it, like people want to be there. I think that that's the other important thing is like they, like there's a, everybody likes each other out in the yeah. Denver yeah. music. So. I, I tell people who aren't, here consistently just go to Cervantes on the weekend and yeah, you you, you will to. be impressed with whoever is playing there yeah mm-hmm. it's true there's yeah. no doubt mm-hmm. yeah and they have like these you know world class acts but then there's also the local scene yeah and it's incredible to see what that group does to work with local musicians yeah, yeah. like our guys our Squirf shows together yeah. just played Squirf there show together yeah I mean Squirf just played with you know their d- album release with like you know Venetian masks and <laughs> all kinds of crazy performance art. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool to see somebody be able to go in and kind of take over Mm -hmm. uh, the venue and really use it for their art. And Mm -hmm. Cervantes is game for that. Yeah, Yeah. Evan Mark supports local bands Mm -hmm. a lot. He's the book, he's like the booking guy. There's there's a ton of, there's a string of album releases. We didn't, we didn't yeah. notice when we booked it, but we were the I, front. Uh, I did front notice end that of pattern. Of, I did notice that <laughs> pattern. Yeah, I'm glad I mean, we that's got awesome. Squirt, you guys paid, but you guys paid the way. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, they saw us. You, like we can do like, that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. trailblazers, really. Yeah, I think Squeaky Feeds was before ours actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. like a month. Uh, they, they, <laughs> but that's, yeah. but that's all right. I mean, Squeaky Feet. That's a good example. An album produced by Dylan Gleit, who's the guitarist in Eminent Som Som. Yeah, so it's just like it's people working together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so yeah, building yeah. each other up. Like we were just there playing at the Mission Ballroom with yeah. the main squeeze. You yeah, know? and, like, and, and Squeaky really Feet's cool. a great example because I've 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 seen them slowly build organically in the Denver yeah. scene for what four or five six years now. And yeah. every yep. show just gets bigger and bigger. And now here they are just announced. I think it was Frasco and and the uh, and the main squeeze and that's, Squeaky Feet playing sick. the Mission Ballroom. Yeah, that's dope. Let's go. So, yeah, congrats. Shout that's out huge. to all those guys. Yep, yep. Big shout out. So uh, sick. Any other venues, any other local music yeah, stuff there's, you want to uh, touch on? Yeah, Giant Walking Robots just released an album as yeah. well. I yeah. mean, that's in the string of Sound album vibe. releases that Jimmy was talking about. Their mm-hmm. show's coming up. It's unfortunately the same day as the show that we're playing, but... You should go. October, most of them are fourth or fifth. Yeah, because we're playing every single weekend for the next seven. Yeah, but they're (laughs) they're dope. They're really nice guys, man. Good friends of ours. Like kind of like a a, like a dubby reggae jam Lotus Lotus Mm. product project. Mm -hmm. Super vibey. Really, really cool. Good, really good dudes. They support us a lot and. 
you know, I we we'd always be remiss to not just quickly chat about, you know, or mention our guys in Swerve that did throw that album release mm-hmm. show like Matt was talking about with this really cool, um, you know, kind of like theatric vibe to it and you know squerve has been a really big part of our progression too because we work with um as we were talking about earlier gabe mintz who's mm-hmm. our booking agent at loose leaf and also um natalie barrett at um winning you know win PR. win win, win. yeah yep win win pr uh win shout win out. pr shout out and shout like out. you know mm-hmm. we wouldn't without the squerve guys you know kind of connecting the dots for us and letting us kind of be a part of it mm-hmm. not being like you know like gatekeepers yeah you know we've been able to get involved in that and it's been a huge level up because you know we release songs and we release albums and it's like oh man this sh- Shit's fucking, you know, it's going to, like, great, Mom. I'm glad you like it. (laughs) That's sick, (laughs) Linda. Shout out, Linda. You're the best. (laughs) But to have articles written about it and feel like it's actually making an impact and people are truly listening to the music and connecting with it, that means, you know, a lot to us. And the Squerve guys kind of set, you know, the tone with that, with with connecting us with those people. So I really just want to say how much we love those dudes. Yeah. Yeah. They're killing it. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of Natalie too, because she we're uh, we're gonna be speaking on. Uh, we have the Denver radio coming up. Well, actually, Fort Collins first going to be on the radio there doing a live session, and then an interview the following Monday on on Denver's radio, and then also out in Nebraska, um, we're gonna have another little special. So yep. just getting us out there, and you know, get yeah, just expanding the reach. And, TV. Yeah. In January? Yep, January going to be wow. on. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Soggy Bottom wow. Boys edition. <laughs> <laughs> Could, Matt's yeah. not invited to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, boys. Well, shout out to everybody we just yeah. mentioned. Shout, and again, out shout out to everybody who supports the everybody. local music scene here in Denver oh, and around the country. Uh, I truly think we have something special here. Yeah, so that's Shout true. out to you guys. Um, and I want to take a little bit of a dive, a little bit of a walk down memory lane, if you will, Ooh. and kind of do a deep dive <laughs> into Please. the story of Rado. And yeah. I think a lot of a lot of people listening, a lot of people I'll take watching, this one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> came into the pro- <laughs> probably know who you are at this point. But but for the listeners who maybe don't know or don't know how it came to be. Let's uh, let's step back into 2019 and maybe even before 2019 and talk about how the hell you guys know each other, how this crazy thing came to be, and uh, get a little background history into how Rado got to the stage. Dang. Wow. So, Gotta get into dang. that pre-COVID. Yeah, brain. that pre- Wow. What was Different Dylan world? thinking you, you in 2019? You start with how you and Kevin and, and me and Zach. <laughs> yeah, who met who first? Well, I think I gotta go all the way. We gotta go back even further than go that. Go back. Mm. 1995. Yeah. 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 No, no, we gotta go all the way back to... Um, <laughs> 92, actually. Four score. No, 20, 28, <laughs> 20, uh, yeah, 2018, I think, is when I actually officially first met Ben. Um, 2017. Well, that's whatever, dude. Or 16. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like a <laughs> fact. We got some. We got some. It's just yeah, like, dude, dude opinion, we, man. clearly five weeks, you know, six weeks. The numbers aren't my thing. It was 2017, 2018 time frame. Fair. Um, and I was in a, I had moved out here and I was in this like electronic project called mammoth water with our friend jason alquist and i met him on craigslist like, random craigslist. yeah dude shout out to craig <laughs> dude, i mean craig? his list is pretty <laughs> dope is sometimes mammoth it's water sometimes I've mystery played, liquid yeah i've yeah. played in bands with a lot of people off craigslist, From craigslist. actually i don't oh, know shit. Yeah. maybe it gets weird with other things but it seems like the music for bands it, yeah, it's good it's <laughs> chill for ba- for <laughs> craigslist evan <laughs> Four bands. Evan, Evan in an off world vehicle. Shout out, Craig. Evan, Shout out, Craig. Evan, Evan in an off world vehicle. We're playing a Halloween show with. Uh, met him through Craigslist. Yeah, there you go. We ended up having like a hundred mutual sick. friends. We're like, how do yeah. we not mean real life? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, anyways, so I met in similar story. I met J- Jason through Craigslist, and turns out he's from Michigan. He went to Michigan State. That's where I went to school. Mm-hmm. Knew like twenty people in common. And him and I got together, and we just kind of, like, didn't really know anybody out here, so we just started, like, jamming and making, like, electronic kind of music. And Mm -hmm. him and Benny were Mm -hmm. really tight friends. So 
long story hummus. short, like we started playing shows and Jason broke his arm and then Ben <laughs> was just visiting it. Yeah, he was like trying to shit, dude. He's trying to like snowboard down this like stupid like hill off of Colfax. I like, bet it was or, sick though. Dude, it was off not of it, Colfax. Yeah, off of Colfax. I bet it was sick though. Not only did he yeah. break his not arm, not copper, I'm not sure. winter park, Colfax <laughs> Avenue. Gave you oh, man, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah, was Jayquist and I were hanging on. Out. Yeah, anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah. yeah. So he oh, broke his arm and Benny was out here. Yep. And Ben just was like, oh, I'd fill in on, on the drums mm -hmm. for you guys. And oh. then Ben played. Had to skip my dad's birthday for that. Oh, Extend my trip oh my a week, God. unfortunately. I did, uh -oh. I did not uh -oh. know that. Sorry. But hey. Sorry, Dick. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. we, like, you must have been always moving. When did you start playing drums? Dude? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> take a guess. Take we a can't guess. dovetail too far yeah, we into we gotta stay. origins of yeah. origins. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. Four yeah. years old, though. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, four yeah. years four. old. So, anyways, Ben and I met that kind of that way he joined he joined up with that band and then he decided like man this is dope like i'm just gonna move to denver he was thinking about it anyway so yep. he moved in with us and we started this like project and then through that i met james who was doing this other electronic -y project and we really aligned because like Kaleidoscope. we've always wanted mm -hmm. to do we always wanted to do a jam band and so at this point, is it more? So you said more like electronic. Like, are we talking jamtronica? Are we talking like house even. music? No, like, like produced, like produced, like produced house tracks. music on Ableton. Not even. Yeah, yeah sometimes house music, more like ba like grizzy kind of that some, future funk like, type like, shit. Yeah. Hundred BPM. Yeah, like, 100, future, yeah. 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 it was cool. Vibe but what's yeah. wild is like, so through that, mainly just getting back on it is the Denver music scene. Yeah. Kevin was running sound at this spot called your mom's house so like yeah, of course YBH. every every yeah. you know couple of months we'd end up going and playing there and kevin would be the guy on sound and you always would know it would sound like the best with kevin and so we would always re re request kevin and would just be like oh cool this guy's like the man and then Mammoth Water started this open jam. Do you remember this shit? Oh, yeah. yeah dude. Oh, <laughs> at yeah. Tony, at Tony. This is the real origin story, folks. We got our own damn podcast. I'm going to tell the whole fucking <laughs> thing. Fucking Strap it. God damn right. <laughs> you better get your own milk ready. <laughs> Milk? Yeah, warm milk. You know, it's a bedtime story, that... baby. Come on, give it right. the program, right. Jimmy. Don't act like your mama didn't never give you no warm milk. <laughs> if I ever see you drinking a glass of warm milk, I'll probably I'm be freak at out. a goose concert. Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Catch Shots fired. Straight. Shots fired. Catching strays. <laughs> Anyways, we started this uh, this jam, and it was a couple blocks away from our house at this Tony P's in. Kev came to that, and he and I didn't even know he played bass. And so at this point, he's just producing. He, you're just a sound guy at yeah. your mom's house. Yeah, and I was in a different like prog metal band with a couple of friends okay. from yeah, college. But yeah, but this was kind of before yeah. that. Of course, We're, it was a prog metal band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what band? Atlas, Atlas Adrift. Oh played, yeah, played one show. I was yeah. That is a great name. It was a great one and done, baby. It's a great band name. Took three years to come up with it. Yeah, yeah. and we played one Atlas show, and it was Adrift. sick. And it was but, yeah. sick. And Kevin showed up with his bass, and I had no idea he was even like a bass player. And he showed up with this monster six string bass, and it was just like playing the funkiest shit ever, dude. And I was like, oh my god, this guy's this so good slaps. at the drums. And yeah. Mammoth Water was fading because I was done doing the electronic thing and ben started his own project mm -hmm. and then yeah kevin and i linked up and kind of yeah. started well i remember Rado. one time at that jam uh, like a year before rado we were just like man it'd be cool to be in a jam band together mm -hmm. and a year later we did it so yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it was sick. Boom. so you guys come together right and what's what's the initial idea for rado like when you guys are talking about all right we want to start a jam band like any specific you're just like okay we're just gonna open improv see what happens like Basically. yeah well yeah. there wasn't really any start talk of like let's start yeah. a jam band like literally i think i we, booked a gig you booked a gig without ever practicing or having a lineup kind of like this that we're doing and right now exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, improv baby yeah. sunday <laughs> afternoon at luster pearl two hours and we learned a few <laughs> I what are you playing? What are you playing at practice. that point? Like, are you I playing covers and shit? Covers, I think we yeah. played. Uh, I what think are we some played covers? Like a forty-five minute long chameleon by yeah. Herbie and we did some. Just, uh, like, there for that. just like proud you were, Mary, yeah, 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 yeah something like proud that. Mary, like Santa that. to me, Santos. Yeah, oh, we did play. Uh, yeah, roses are free. Yeah. Cross side, of course. All the of course. All the songs. You knew your target market. Jammed on them really hard. I don't think we practiced. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was cool. It was, I went to so many of those Rado shows yeah. before oh, yeah. I was in the band. Yeah, Ben was there at a lot of <laughs> and them. And you're under the Number name Rado at this point. That yes. was officially billed as Rado for the very, I think, one of the very first, first times. Okay. And I guess some origination was just like swapping out musicians yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, in our friend group and stuff. Because yeah. I guess there was like, a couple jamming. other random Rado Shred shows. Yeah. There was a r- couple of Rado Shreds build shows that, and that Ben was a part of. But uh-huh. this was the first one ever like, this is Rado. And Rado Shreds, yeah, you're learning right now. I feel like he's taking <laughs> it history. all in. <laughs> um, we did a couple of the, I mean, we did a couple of those Rado Shreds and then we would just like rotate musicians and then... Mm. And then we did this one with Kevin, Danny Chapa, Zach Bulgarelli, and, and myself. And yeah, it just kind of hit. It was like, this it is pretty went cool. went well enough that we decided to do more. Yeah. Like, like hey, we should actually mm-hmm. do yeah. a band. Yeah. And then I started introducing some original songs, and that's when it really kind of elevated mm-hmm. to the point of being like, this is ro- like this is a Rado two guitar style band. Sure. And then the guitar player dropped out. We had some issues there. Um, and we did COVID hit and then we did a stream and then this is really where James came into the fold is we did this stream as a three piece, Kevin, myself and our old drummer and James hit me up and was like, man, it would be really cool if you guys had some keys. Do you want to get together? But I think he hit me up before. Mm. Co- Let Jimmy yeah. tell this. Yeah. 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 yeah, come on, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, I will because I, I remember it pretty vividly actually. Um, it was literally right before... COVID started in March, um, I was thinking about starting up a band, um, and I had a bass player and a drummer, and we needed a guitar player, and I remember Dylan from when our uh, electronic groups would play together, and I was like, that guy freaking ripped. He was really good at guitar. Like, I I want him to do it. Um, And so... He also very adorably texted me at the time and was like yo dude yeah i you know well you're getting out of order yeah so <laughs> getting ahead of yourself there getting ahead of yourself but this is the fun, so this is the funny part i'm like all right i want this guy yeah and right at the same time they made a post on facebook saying they were interested in a keys player and so i messaged dylan was like hey yo you looking for a keys player i'm kind of thinking about starting a band want a guitar player like let's get together and jam and I literally texted him on like March 11th and was like, yep. I'm going to book a, a room at Rocket Space this weekend. You bring some of your homies, I'll bring some of my homies, let's do a big uh, jam session. Literally like two days later, my office was like, the office is shut down, there's this viral disease. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't speak for another year after that. Basically, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so I was like, oops. Well, I guess some. I guess there's this thing. We should probably go buy groceries and like yeah. talk to you soon. Buy toilet so paper. So at that point, are you thinking it's the end of Rado, or do you have full intentions of firing no. this thing back up? No. We kept practicing the whole time. The you three, did the three of us. Yeah, and yeah. did like the live stream, and we were yeah. we were playing we the were, whole time. We were into the three piece for a yeah. second because yeah. we were just like. So you were just guitar, drums, bass, power yeah. trio, power there trio. Was, that's like, all you need, baby. So yeah, I went to quite a few those shows so. there was like no pressure to yeah. find a keys player or really to do anything because there was like no shows yeah. so we were kind of just, just writing and playing in the basement did a live stream and couple then, shows mother there, but, yeah. Yeah. yeah and then <laughs> i we linked back up and was like hey sorry wow what a crazy eight months it's been like yep. you still want to do something and dylan was like yeah we're uh practicing tomorrow you should come by the house and so i i came by brought my keys and like in my mind he had other intentions. Yeah, I was trying to get Dylan to join my band. I was like, we're just going to jam a little bit. Like, I'm not joining another band. And then we had, like, this three-hour nonstop jam, <laughs> like, uh, rocket, jam rocket. I, was, I have it recorded day. on my phone. It was like yeah. five hours. It was it was, a, it was, it was so five hours. Of music. The, the length of it grows each time, but it was yeah. legendary. Thirty three hours. Never I, I remember. <laughs> I remember going like going upstairs to, like get a drink, and I was just thinking like, oh my god, this is so awesome. I want to be in a band with these guys. Mm-hmm. I remember my first time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Dylan came up and was like, hey, we just talked about it, and we really think you should join the band, like. Would you be down with that? And I was like, more than you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah. Either, so yeah. Well, it was just good. so good. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, we played Jellyfish, and, and 
we hit that. Was that the first one that you guys played with him? Yeah, first time. And like James didn't know it, but there's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward song. We did play the whole thing, and it was like, can this one? We were kind of like, can this guy hang? Like, we're not gonna call out all these changes, and it's like, can he do it? Yeah. And then it's like, what happens when we hit these jam sections? And I remember looking at him when we were playing the first like A set, like the A major section part. And his he, he was like totally like his face was totally, his eyes shut, just grinning, looking up. And he Flow does state. it. Yeah. He does it all the time. Dirty. Still, Surprise, your see, eyes were I open. See, no, I know. Well, I was just like making sure he was d- doing, feeling what I was feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and Should now that I know in. that he is, I never have to open my eyes again. You still hear <laughs> yeah. 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 So it was so cool to see though, because it was. We, I just think we all knew that there just like a bomb had went off in the in the basement or something, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, then we just started touring with the, you know, it did take I suppose a little bit of work in, I mean, I'll be honest, I had total intentions of stealing James from these other bands, mm-hmm. like I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it, I mean, I love those guys, but. I'm, se- I'm yeah. we're a little selfish. Kevin and I talked about it. I remember one time Kevin was like, "Sometimes your sad piece becomes your main piece." Oh, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, no. and, and James was already oh, like my. into it enough where he didn't disagree. <laughs> so <I was> like, <laughs> and if you know James, that's a pretty powerful thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Subtle so, acknowledgement. Yeah. Yes. So then, yeah, we just started rocking it that way, and we really ramped. The fuck up, dude, and and we did again, lo- you know, a lot of love for Logan and Camera Jams in this, yeah, this room yeah. specifically out. because oh we gosh, did our man. first ever, you know, live group performance right right in here, right out of COVID, like a live stream that reached it's like thirty five hundred people or something. Sure. And that was boom, James in the band, and yeah. stylistically, I mean, how does obviously adding adding keys adds so many different layers on what you can do, but stylistically, from like a genre standpoint, did you change? Did you? What what did you notice any sort of shift in in the style of music or? Ben, you were a listener. What did you? Oh, yeah. what did you oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you guys definitely it started shredding even more. Yeah, <laughs> so you were a listener before you joined. I was a fan. Yeah, yeah not it's not number one. I was like number one fan. Yeah, front row, rail rider, every yeah. show, no <laughs> buying way. SB. Oh yeah, uh, oh man. yeah. Ben's in a lot of recordings. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got one <laughs> sit in. Track. I think at, at yeah. local forty six. Yeah. Other than that, always just a listener. Yeah. Okay, and and fan. it was definitely also like a similar <laughs> experience adding him where we're like. Zach was getting really busy with Squerve, and we we loved him, but it just felt like we weren't going to be able to both be really busy, mm-hmm. and so we kind of talked about it, and um, and it just worked out that timing and everything. Dylan yep. and Ben had been hanging out, and they're like, "We should jam." And so yeah. anyway, the, yep. what I'm getting to is that we similar thing where we're like, "All right, we'll see. We'll test the waters, like see if he can hang." Blah blah blah, and then like oh, and played for like an hour, and we're oh, like, "Yes, I yes, yes, please join the band." Yeah, and I was what, testing so you guys you, actually. It, it definitely, yeah. the band definitely changed the most. Like James added what we had always wanted. I mm-hmm. think that that's a really great way to kind of put that. Is what we were always looking for was more soundscapes. But when Ben joined the band, it did change. Like we moved from more of a like fish because like that. I mean, I that was our jazzier. We, well, it's just a different. You know, yes. like James and I and Zach all love fish and. And Kev is into fish, but yeah, like okay. not there. Yeah, he doesn't love. <laughs> yeah, really. he would say that. But he, no, like you see what shirt he's got. Like you There's know hair I mean? well with warm yeah, wait, milk. You, yeah, so, you got there, huh? So he's rocking a biscuit shirt, Before and like, out. but now, now out. the dynamic is more like Kevin, Ben, and I. Yeah, the like I, we all really like the biscuits. So like three, three out of four. Like, and so does James. It's just yeah. the bigger influence or inspiration <laughs> that connects us all. Yeah, the tissue. Has moved to more of like an unsy band, yeah. and I and I lo- and bass, I'm loving it, and I think we're all loving it because oh, not yeah. th- one of our homies Pocket up in trance. Fort Collins said this. Which, what was that dude's name? Uh, I know his Instagram tag. Clueless Jay? Swallow. Nick, <laughs> oh, Nick, 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 Nick. Shout out Nick. Nick. Yeah, 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 the homie. Yeah. He, well, he was yeah, super no, cool, man. He just gave us a really yeah. cool compliment that's kind of made us to me, anyways, think that we should continue to just rock with this authenticity to the uns. Is that he said, like, not as many people, like, everybody wants to do 
the uns, but people don't know how to personify it the right sure. way. And he feels as if we capture the essence of it really well. And mm. like, that's, that's cool to hear. Cause it, yeah. it's and not Nick, easy or it's not easy to do that interestingly. Right. You know? And yeah. I, funny enough, you brought him up. I met him at fish two weeks, three weeks ago. What I met trip. Nick. And, he's, trip, bro. and that's he cool. said, you got, he said, you know, those Rado guys. And I said, yeah, we just started Let's talking. Go. So shout out to Nick. Hosted yeah. so, podcast so cool. with him, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. So what year is this that you're joining? Well, this is what? 2022? Three. Three? Three? So January pretty recently. Yeah, yeah, shit. Jan- yeah. yeah. Coming up on two years. Our okay. first show was wow. February 2023. And so we Baker's. started... I think Brewery. we did the tryout in like December of 22. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And like you guys have said, so we sort of started in the fish world, the, the, the for lack of a better term, like standard jam band yeah, sound. Yeah. yeah. And have grown to what we know Rado is now, which is a little more uncier, a little bit of that jamtronica, um, heavy synth kind of yeah. sound. Sugar, we, gonna, and gonna, we gonna, like which, it that way. You know, I love it that way. I, yeah, I, I like the mix way. of both too. Yeah. It makes us unique. The mix of all our individual stuff plus like '97 fish and '07 yeah. Yeah. biscuits, and I love not just one or the other. I love sound wise feeling like I'm like hearing that music that makes me want to like wiggle in a forest yep. or on a beach, mm-hmm. but then. You know, two minutes later, I Can feel you like I'm. Say that. <laughs> yeah, wait, come, come again. I feel like I feel like I'm. You know, I love being in that place where I'm hearing that music that makes me wiggle on the in the forest or on the beach. Yep. Yes. But then all of a sudden, two minutes later, you're at a rave yeah. with all your best yeah. friends. You know, jumping up and down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it feels like you guys have that dynamic ability to really get those two dynamic places tied together in a nice way yeah. in a single song it's been good it's been great i will say that i i'm i'm newer to this than all of you guys are i walked into a bar you guys were playing and i hear the fucking the uns i hear the fucking <laughs> disco biscuits and i'm going and and you you nailed it perfectly they transition so fluidly from that sound back out into more of a traditional floaty feel good high soaring jam and you guys yeah. Every time I hear you, it gets better and better. Of, of I appreciate moving that, from man. that Thank space yeah. into another one, and I, I was blown away that uh, that I could walk in and hear you guys yeah. do that. So, well, yeah. thank you, dude. That means that means a lot to us. Absolutely. We put we put a lot of work into the you know the sound. I, I was talking to the guys yesterday. We did kind of a band meeting, and sometimes the final ten percent of any product is the most challenging to like get down and dialed, and it's the hardest work. And I think. We're kind of on that final frontier, which is mm-hmm. which is cool. It's I mean, it's a little scary to be yeah. honest with you. Where we're just like so serious about everything that needs to go into it, especially mm. from a sonic. Quit your standpoint. jabs, yeah. Quit, mm-hmm. your, quit your jabs. But you can really see the growth normal. too. I mean, I, yeah. I I think you can hear hear the growth in your sound. I think every time you step on stage, there's that next level that you reach, mm-hmm. where you're unlocking those those things that yeah. you might not even knew you had in your arsenal yeah those are the, well, those are fun that's <laughs> the fun of improv yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, we don't, know, we all love we don't yeah. know either they're so. like <laughs> trying to weird each other out on yeah, the yeah. Basis. Like, i'm yeah. trying to like freak yeah. the guy next yeah. to me out or like yeah. get him excited yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. and i will say too because all like it depends on the time of day where if it's like a festival set daytime is it a nighttime festival set is it late night is it you know a smaller intimate venue is it a big you know other side, um, you know, larger venue type thing. Like it, it varies on like what vibe will that's bring a great as point. well. That's a great and point. And that's the beauty of the improv though, too, is like we get to vibe off the crowd and, mm-hmm. you know, feel out, okay, does the crowd need a break or do they need more unts? And, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of. <laughs> What's mm-hmm. your answer to get, that question get, usually, uh, Benny? <laughs> uh, it depends. Yes. <laughs> they need more it, Ten it, more BPMs. No, no, it depends. <laughs> they might need drum more BPMs. BPMs. Yeah. It's usually nine times out of ten, yeah. Ben will be like, should we play like a faster one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them eggs. <laughs> Give them eggs. And from a, from a set list perspective, too, I mean, so how are you guys organizing? You mentioned that you'll, you'll play to the audience and if you need to oh, turn yeah. it up, you turn it up. But from a set list building perspective, do you guys trade off on a nightly basis? Do you guys come together as a group? How are you building the set lists and in oh, terms man. of how the energy flows? We we have something we call a song cloud. Oh. So we have a, a Slack channel. We use Slack to communicate. And we have a cloud, so we'll throw songs. We'll kind of talk about them throughout the day. Oh, should we play this night? Yeah, put it in the cloud. Mm. And so we generate maybe 10, 15, 20 songs in a cloud. And then from there, we pretty much just go on stage and like... Let it ride. Rip it. And mm-hmm. yeah. Decide what we're going to open with, and um, 
Yeah, we try to be very relaxed. Honestly, like we we tried for like bigger yeah. shows. We kept trying to write set lists. And every time we did that, it felt really forced and like <laughs> unnatural and weird. And we were just like, all right, we just gotta stop stop trying to do that and just especially <laughs> writing play. changes. Like yeah. the biscuits do that actually great. Like they write their set list all the way through the changes and they're able to be patient and wait to hit the change. Like when we had the change written, we felt as if we were trying to force the music to yeah. happen too yeah. quickly mm -hmm. as opposed to it just being really organic. And and we still write out a couple of those ideas now. I think that we've gotten more comfortable playing big shows, but we would like play like a science to like living out loud or something. It would be like <laughs> fi 15 minutes because it felt like so forced. And, and those songs are... You know, uh, twenty. I mean, each. Si yeah, fifteen yeah. each. Yeah. Like, letting you know, it breathe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah, and so it gets. You know, you don't want to. You need to leave the space open to the mind a little bit mm -hmm. because that's what the audience has grown to expect in a way. Mm -hmm. Is that that kind of unknown? And mm -hmm. if we, I feel like it, it comes from our set list because you literally, if you listen to some of the recordings, you can hear me shouting out like, "Oh, should we play this one?" And mm -hmm. usually we've kind of developed a rule where it's like, if we're at a big show and, and somebody calls a song, don't say no. Because mm -hmm. it's just like, what are we fucking doing <laughs> well, out here? Like, you're going to yeah, tell me no? Like, we've got to play. Yeah, the, yeah. There's 500 yeah. people looking yeah. at us. I'm right. sorry if you don't well, want to play this that's right why, now. That's where we're at. That's <laughs> why we needed the cloud, because like yeah. the set list is too restrictive, but just yeah. any song in the catalog, yeah. <laughs> we're all just up there like, oh, uh, what do you want to yeah. And well, there's I don't know. Be, what do you want to there, do? <laughs> there's got to be songs within your catalog, too, that you feel more comfortable with than others, right? So, like, is there a, a jam space? Let's take Thank You, Mr. Science, or, like, a back mm -hmm. nine. Getting in and out of those songs, do you feel more comfort with those than maybe, like, some covers where you're like, how the fuck are we going to get out of this? Or where, where does Rado feel most comfortable in terms of their catalog? The originals. Yeah. All day. Yeah. I oh, mean yeah. the originals, the staple like the staple songs for sure, like yeah. back night. Maybe we cue maybe we queue up some, some oh, maybe we'll cue it up. Uh, uh, maybe we transition yeah. Buddy. tape yeah. review. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Roll some clips. Let's yeah. dive in, dude. A little Mart's measurements. Yeah, yeah. just keep going on that while you're, yeah, while yeah. you're doing that. It, um the the ones we play more often and like the originals of the big bangers, like it's just easy to hear when someone's like teasing that and it's easy to fall right into it. But we're still pretty comfortable, like, it, it, once we get into the jam space, it doesn't yeah. matter if it came from a cover or an original. Yep. There's what no... is it, the Joplin, They Love Each Other from, like, way back in the day? <laughs> That's a sick, I think that goes pretty pretty hard. There's, like, so many examples of y'all just, like, <laughs> Dude, that was, blowing a cover out of deep. the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, ultimately, I think everybody, all, all, the, all the bakers that come to the shows and, and even, you know, our new fans, people that are experiencing music for the first time, when they hear the drop into jellyfish, that's when they really go nuts. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that the one? I mean, that's one of the ones. That's one, the one. Yeah. <laughs> one of the Je ones. Jellyfish is a big one. <laughs> that is the what was that? The s second song we ever learned as a one band. Of the first few. Yeah, yeah first. Yeah. Few. What was the first? Run and hide. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Run and hide jellyfish. That song is that song is historic. To the other life. side. Yeah, that yeah song signed is up. Historic in my life. My dad helped me write that song too. <laughs> no shit. He, oh, dude, he Shout came out. up with Shout the, out Mark. Mark. He came up with Mark's the. He the probably legend. came up with the, the whole. I mean, he came up song. with the fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just, he just like I'm downstairs. I'm like playing this riff at like it was the first blues riff that I ever wrote on the guitar too, where I was like learning the guitar. Which was really cool, and I was fucking around in the basement, and he just comes downstairs and he's like, "Man, you know it'd be really cool if you just went, I'm running, I'm hiding, they're looking." No shit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. I did not. I didn't yeah, know that about he that did song. He That's did tell awesome. me to put give him songwriting credit. Oh, right ooh, uh, this is is this five is this words. That? Yeah. I think this is that. <laughs> yeah, you made it into the room. Mark, Mark, here's your here's your fifty five cents. Yeah, there yeah. you go, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, Whoa. I, oh, Rick and Mike. <laughs> I will say from a from a jam perspective, I consider myself a newer fan of the group. I mean, yeah. I, I you know, I'm new to this scene and two months. One, two months. Do we meet two even, months ago? Is is that, it, has it even been has two months? No, I don't two know. Months? I don't think it's so. Like and a half, I'm though. very new to this and I think I think it might even be good to provide a, a newbie's perspective yeah. to to this catalog. But one thing that stood out to me 
when when I first heard you guys is is how effortlessly you guys did flow through the set list. It, there's a lot of jam bands where they just jam for the sake of jamming and it doesn't have direction. It doesn't have the patience that it takes to deliver and build. And I think something that really stands out with you guys is your ability to transition well and, and, and play in the moment. And there's never really seeming like it's forced. Uh, it, it's patient, it's creative, and it has direction. And I yeah. think those things are really mm -hmm. important because um, a lot of people just jam for the sake of jamming and it, it, it doesn't go anywhere. And, and, and truly something I've noticed is you guys, your ability to deliver and have meaning to each jam that I've heard. Mm -hmm. so, hey, thanks, um, Tension. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Tension, mm -hmm. exactly. So let's fire up some jams here. Yeah. We've got a few things Ooh. queued up from the Cervantes show from a few weeks ago, the album release show. Baker's Measurements, stream it everywhere. Look at those guys. Stream it everywhere. everywhere. Oh, stream it everywhere. Yep. Um, shout out Camera Jams as well for this Shout video. out Camera Jams. My and we've gosh. got a few points we want to play here, and we're just going to break it down. Mart, feel free to break jump it, break in, it, dude. Break it down. Who's that guy? Yeah. Mm. Who's that guy? Who's that Mart? guy? Measurements. Ooh. Measurement, Mart. The hit ear. Ready to go. <laughs> Dialed in. Put my jam splanation cap on. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy. So look, at, look at you, Gal. Nice, nice Ooh. spot drop in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Nice little send off solo there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's always a very triumphant. So uh, this progression. Is... Yeah, because Dylan's about to come in, but he's just waiting, and they can go a few more bars. <laughs> Let Jimmy keep whipping it. Oh, cue it up. Yep. Boom. Yeah. So this one's back nine on the on the album. Let's talk about back nine for a second. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. on the album, and I've heard a little backstory about back nine regarding <laughs> Dylan had some. Uh, <laughs> What were you watching? Swing a golf, a golf, golf tournament. A golf tournament. Give yeah. us the lowdown on that. Yes, uh, the the U.S. or no, sorry, it wasn't the U.S. <laughs> Open. It was just the Open Championship. It was women's tennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Open Championship in this uh, French golfer. God, I forget his name right now. But it was this French dude, and he and he had he was up seven strokes going into the very last hole to win the open championship ah. and he lost like it, it like totally blew it like yeah i you know was trying to hit it out of the water and everybody Close was like too impossible it was like bro lose. like why don't you just take a drop like the drop isn't like it was just full like ego got ahead of himself and, and whatnot you step to the line yeah it was great <laughs> it, oh god oh well i guess there's some of that in there but anyways um that song it just was kind of dedicated to this dude, and ultimately that was really <laughs> in a bad, bad spot when he, you know, mentally, I suppose, when he mm -hmm. went through and, like, lost that. And I can't even imagine what he felt like <sighs> afterwards, you know, be because that, you know, that mental health is, like, especially in golf, and I think that that's kind of an interesting transition if you, you want to paint a picture is that sport you're so alone mm -hmm. you're, you're totally up against it so mm -hmm. you have to be so strong mentally especially going in to the back nine or the last you know the last mm -hmm. hole so um you know the song starts with you know stop sign swing on the vine the tee was on time as we headed to the back nine and it's like dude get ready you got to be ready to do this and if you're not what get are you doing and, and the chorus is step outside the hallways of your mind and, you know, open the door. And that's kind of like he could have just just chilled out and mm -hmm. just had this seven stroke. Get out of your own head. Yeah, Get out of your own way. Use the seven stroke lead to his advantage. <laughs> it was one of my it was one of my early favorites, too. Yeah. Yeah. And and of the of the album, that song immediately stuck out to me. Nice. Uh, oh, I cool. I will say that that one jumped out to me. And I want to I want to talk to Benny here uh, mm. for a second. No. What you're playing right here is fucking ridiculous. Right? <laughs> Listen Thanks, to this. Dude. Listen to him jumping around here. Little Caribbean. Yeah. Little world, <laughs> little island music here. A little <laughs> island me. Uh, oh, him. yeah. Arriba. Rip it. Yeah, I'm, out, I'm always thinking about Santana in this moment here. Definitely gives me so that sick. vibe. <laughs> Ooh, and then get and it. So now we hit. Get them going, we, boys. We, there we go. Oh. Engage. We are now <laughs> engaged. <laughs> soft creation. <laughs> Solid 134. 
set the stage. So usually, like, yeah, usually. I mean, usually there we're like figuring out, okay, what are we gonna do yeah. for this? Set the stage, let it let it boil a little bit, let it let it bake a little bit, and then lock it in. Right to and the jam. When you so pre-show, I mean, is there does back nine? Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. Science. Do those typically have a direction that you guys are heading into? Like, okay, we take this one. This is typically a Jamtronica type jam. Um, do you pre-show maybe, maybe not plan, but talk about the vibe of the jam at all, or do you nah. truly? Yeah, just yeah say, can oh, we it. roll it? Maybe yeah. quiet. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah can we turn this down a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. That's perfect. yeah. That's perfect. Just as a bit, just a little background. I yeah. Think oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so is there direction to the jam or is it? Yes and no. I mean, each, each song kind of has a, th this, like when we hit this part in back nine, we always know we're going to go to an unts jam, mm -hmm. but that's all we know. Yep. Like mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it's going to stay in an unts jam. It doesn't mean that it's not going to go to halftime. It doesn't mean that maybe it's going to change keys. Um, Slip in some drum and bass. But we do always try to have and set like sort of a small intention behind the kickoff of each jam. And I mean, right now, like kind of what I'm hearing is like we're just letting it really develop right mm -hmm. now. Just like no, like nobody's trying to push it. Mm -hmm. Really, it's again that patience. Everybody's just yep. kind of sitting, yep. sitting there. Loop it, loop it for a bit. Mm -hmm. You'll hear some like yeah, repetitive concepts, and then it's like. Figuring it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Just I listening. will say there, there's this magic moment, right, when you sort of drop into the unknown, and like sometimes someone will just have like an inspiration, and like, you know, I never play organ on this, but I'm gonna start playing like a major chord on organ, and it just mm -hmm. like easily pivots. Everyone's like, whoa, that's mm -hmm. cool. We don't usually do that. Like, let's just chase that yeah. into the distance. And, and so, do you guys have somebody that maybe you lock into? Like, is is there uh, when you guys are trying to figure it out? I mean, uh, do you lock onto certain individuals? I mean, usually the bass and the drums are usually creating the backbone. We'll, we'll the hold it down. Yeah. So, is there somebody you find yourself following more often, or do you just kind of let it play out? <laughs> well, Kevin and I always hear each other. Like, if one of us starts playing a progression, the other can like here pretty quickly like oh yeah. you're doing something intentional or you're like one <laughs> two five wh whatever it may yeah. be so we yeah. we take turns on Farting who on might it. decide Dude, yeah, to just, just do that um uh, in this one specifically i heard dylan play a riff at the beginning and then i started playing it and that's what i'm still doing now and he's moved off but yeah, yeah. i heard him play it so i took a riff from him so i was kind of just listening for anything yeah. to latch on to i yeah. think it could be any of us any moment like it's it's not a, it's not necessarily like a I'll listen for him and try to base it off that. It's like, it's a living, breathing, moving there, yeah. one organism. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel really inspired to jump on and do something. Sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna sit back and someone else feels really inspired. And it's just kind of whoever like has an inspiration in the moment. Yeah, it's almost like I, th I think Fish does this concept where they it's who's ever <laughs> moving the jam forward the most, and that that is a thing for us. But it, I, I think we're more really looking for who's holding it down the most and like mm -hmm. what's like a constant that i can sync up on <laughs> and who's providing like a rhythmic idea that's like strong enough for me to sync up to that i can be like all right i'm really comfortable with that lock into that and then whoever changes it goes from there but whenever we're searching it's not you know it's almost an important thing that ben's talked about a lot at, at pra practices recently where you you don't want to be searching for more notes you want to be searching like if you find yourself searching search less and er, for less and just listen and, and let mm -hmm. and, and lock in, in. Take a see step where we're back. at yeah take yeah. a step exactly back. Yep. Yep. it's yeah. like take that deep breath you know yeah. like if you're trying to explain something to somebody and you're like oh my god and then this then this happened and this happened. it's like dude what are you saying simple and right repetitive yeah. Yeah. <laughs> less is more reel yeah. it in this yeah. is yep. Yep. such exactly. a, a great video dude. shout out logan yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out Logan. Now we're building God here. Damn. We're, yeah. we're building here in a moment into the Sweet Dreams portion of the jam. Is this was obviously part of the plan, right? Did you was there this one was planned. To this drop one was into? planned. Yeah. This one was planned. Does it always it's follow planned. a back nine or does do you put it wherever you want it to put it? Wherever, the the, the first time it appeared there was no plan there at all. There was no plan. It was yeah. just like <laughs> weird all of a sudden Bill was like, Sweet dreams yeah. I was like, Oh, we're playing that. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first that's time. Fucking, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> that you know, was it's in, pretty simple. Think, well, you you cued 
Yeah. Well, in this specifically, what, you cued the bass line, I think, or you cued the guitar? Uh, or? I brought it in. Yeah, you brought it in? So, yep, yep. So, yeah, well, after that, it did, like, randomly appeared, and so we know it has the power to do that, but occasionally, like, we'll be like, oh, let's throw that in like the here, back. Like, here it goes. I think right here. Yep. Right here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Because I think before we did it in a run and hide or something, and then we also did it in the middle of a tourist, the biscuits song yeah. too, or something like that's that. That's when you so. saw us. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That was the first show that you saw us. We played. That Let blew my live. fucking mind. <laughs> was the, <laughs> that was that the open. open. Was that the I'm 500 open. feet from my house, and they're playing the fucking disco. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, walking across cool. the Again, shout out to Denver Music Center because uh, yeah. that blew my mind. Kevin, your hair looks fucking great in this video. Thank you. I have a fan. Amazing. Number one fan. Yeah, showered before. <laughs> hey, there you go. We've been trying to get him to do that for like all the shows. Only uh-huh. big yeah. ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He'll sit. He'll hold off. <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah. Peak, peak. Look at that face. Oh yeah, it's when you know it's. Oh yeah. But what's cool is, I mean, the way that we bring it in, too, is, I mean, if you notice, the the riff came in like a minute and a half ago ish mm-hmm. now, and we we've used to just be like always oh, playing that okay time to like start singing and Everyone all switched. all this stuff but now you know we gave it time to develop and mm-hmm. it's it almost creates this tension i think in the crowd where you're like are they gonna actually sing this yeah. song or like what's the what's the right plan? and we we talked about that on the interview too where it's it's almost better to tease it and yeah give it give it to them and then take it back and give it to yeah. them and take it back that, yeah the biscuits do that so well right where you'll hear you know, an orc theme or uh, uh, what have <laughs> yeah, that you. That one at Dylan was so it was unbelievable. Uh, but but <laughs> Elliot just runs up to me. I, I mean, told you I could smell I, an orc I, theme I, from a mile <laughs> away. <laughs> I heard. Was, I heard the ring awesome. the doorbell from yeah. for twenty minutes yeah. before they actually you heard played him ring, it. You heard him ringing that thing. I, dude. I came running. It's the only song my girlfriend Twice. knows. Twice. Twice. Twice, two times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's really Maybe I more. think such, <laughs> such a great part of, of teasing it and bringing it back. Yeah, um, but I was just gonna say that just plays into the like the overarching like evolution of patience and like mm-hmm, at mm-hmm. first you just want to like jump on things, yeah. play more notes, like yeah. reach peaks, yeah. and then it's like yep. hearing it and like subtly acknowledging it and like and it's knowing exactly. each other, right? It's knowing it's the relationship that you have over hours yeah. and hours and hours Trust. of building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to jump ahead really quick yeah, yeah, yeah. to jump this ahead. kind of crescendo that I think is fascinating here. We'll call it right. Here, just, just more guitar, <laughs> just shredding, just ripping. But it kind of culminates into this beautiful thing, and then you land the plane so well. Yeah. Nice. And see, right there, he just played a couple major notes, and we all knew that meant we're going back into back nine, and like immediately sort of changed the vibe. Yeah. Call this the bliss. Yeah. If I slip in a major, like, third or seventh, usually they know exactly what's Mm -hmm. about to happen. And I Uh, always, and if you listen to that crescendo, like, the crescendo, I introduce those couple of notes, like, right, like, before what the one would be. So it's kind of like a, hey, it's time to move. And this one, man, we picked one where there is actually a lot of, like, plan changes. This one does does have the plan to move to mate like a major in yeah. in the in the vi- in the in the song just so back, people know back what's, to back nine, yeah, yeah people know what so what we so at we this know, point too. you're already thinking back nine you guys all know, know you yeah, know yeah. yeah it's like we're on the way out but yeah it's still like you'll, this you'll hear jimmy be... like he takes a little solo thing and then you guys link up yeah, on yeah. it and yeah. just yeah. fucking sending it yeah. it's so sick yeah there's so some sick. not i mean if you're looking closely to the video and we'll link it um like, oh, look yeah. at James nodding at me. I'm like, like he's yeah, like, I feel that. That's <laughs> so good. Fucking <laughs> <Like a> bat. <laughs> and these are those moments that James was talking about. I mean, this, although it's planned to move to major, it's nobody has an idea of what type of pro- major progression it's going to be mm-hmm. or what kind of, like, chords we're going to accent. Y- yes, it's going to be in C, but it it goes all across the, you know, spec- the yeah. spectrum. And at this point, too, you've got to feel like you have the crowd in your hand because you've crescendoed, you've gone through the unsee crazy portion to get here, and now you're floating. Yeah. And everybody's feeling good at this yeah. point. I mean, we're feeling just as good as them, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and Kevin and I will just hold it down. It's like, just loop it, you know, let yeah. them kind of just hold yeah. it down for these two to kind of take it and, you know, see where they see where they can take it. Oh, yeah. It's like at this point, nobody knows when Ben's going to drop the. Snare. I was going to say, so who, where, where's the cue? Well, where, who? So it's, Ben's it's, here. Not yet. We are it for a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's coming. Well, we all got to give each other the nod and like acknowledge, like, "Yep, are we going? Yep." Yeah. And if someone's still in it and all that, it's like, "Nope, can't." Yeah. Can't go. Yeah. Is yep. there communication past the nod? Do you are, are you on hand signals or just you nods? Got, you, and listen. I don't nod. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And, yep. and, yeah. and listening, because Ben mm-hmm. does this fill, like it's, it's pretty right there. That Out, dun, 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 yeah. right there. Or straight up. Everybody knows. It's like the outro now, kind of thing. Kind of like that it changes and if you hear the what ben's playing specifically it's yes he's still building but he does have the snare hit in there yeah. so it's providing yeah. a little bit more um drive to, yeah. for the rest of the band yeah. so it's not just like okay it's crescendoing it's yeah. still crescendoing even though it is we know that something is going to change ultimately so and yeah. it's so fascinating you talked about the drive of the snare drum but that when you really listen and you can be peeking at the right time, but the one, as soon as the snare kicks, that is the final fucking piece of the puzzle to fit, to fit it. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You can only get so high if you yeah. still on that yeah. kick in the And hat. it's fun. To go back to the biscuits for just a moment, one thing that I've noticed that's fascinating is if you listen to the 0809 biscuits, Alan didn't use the snare. He would hold off for fucking ever so on the snare. So and I think this version, where we're at right now with the Disco Biscuits, he's heavier on the snare yeah. to kick drive that, yeah. that yep. jam. They want those jams that hit a little quicker yeah. and harder, faster. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, it's, it's one of those things, like, sometimes it leads to a perfect moment. Sometimes you're like, dude, please bring it back yeah. in. Like, I'm like, please, got, we've I'm got I'm one piece of the puzzle left. Let's <laughs> fucking yeah. let it kick yeah. in. Well, it's about ten, the I'm dying out of here. and release. Like, yeah. the snare drum is the release. It is, 100%. Yeah. You know? yeah. And you can, yeah, sometimes it's a little too early, and usually it's right and there. And then sometimes you step on your pedals mid mid peak and your drummer laughs at you <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta make a little face and i'm like fuck dude i gotta play as many notes as possible now make up for it <laughs> yeah making up for it yeah but this was definitely uh like the probably pinnacle of the show mm-hmm. I, I thought this is my favorite yeah. part for sure that's why we wanted to cut it up first Beautiful, absolutely beautiful stuff. Well, dang. Yeah, this one's the first Ooh. March measurements yes, in the book. There it Ooh. is. Consider folks. it measured. They landed. Mart, any hot takes of that? Player. Yeah, Mart. Yeah. Let's What's hear your hot yeah, takes? Yeah, I feel like it I is like March measurements. Yeah. to say. <laughs> yeah, you're Mart. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Calm please. Down. Everybody, we'll get, we'll get to, we'll get to everybody. The star of the show. <laughs> no, I think. Um, I mean, it's a killer version. I, I, you know, I'm always here for a sandwich fest. Any, any time we can get another song brought in, and and you kind of get the the full segue in and out. I think yeah. that's a treat. Yep. And you know what it I think allows and maybe even forces you guys to do is, uh, you know, to figure out how to make those changes interesting, right? How to make that journey interesting. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, as a Rado fan, you guys reliably get there. The, your sauce creation abilities is uh, is, is, is pristine. <laughs> Consider it baked. And, yeah. you know, when, <laughs> oh, uh, when, when, you know, when you, have, when you have the rhythm section going, locked in, Dylan's guitar over the top, and it feels like Jimmy's doing the work of twelve men on with different keyboards. Twelve men on his back, um, and, and, and maybe a sexy little goddess in there too. Um, yep. You know, it's it's truly it's truly something to behold. And that's where that's where myself and I think a lot of bakers are like, man, 
these guys really got something here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Appreciate it, man. Amen, brother. Preach. Woo. Preach. Well, gentlemen, anything else we want to touch on here? No, I think that that's a great uh, first addition to the the rad rad. Yeah, cast yeah, rad cast. Uh-oh. yeah, rad I had cast. fun. Yeah. I had fun. Woo. Yeah, and this is a little taste of what you're gonna get. It's a little uh, organized chaos, but we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, live improv, baby. Live, live improv. improv. Yep, yep. Part yeah. of the game. Yeah. So what are we thinking? We're gonna bring this thing back once a month. Once a month. We're gonna break down more jams. We're gonna talk about uh, different things in the Rada world. We're gonna bring in some other artists, hopefully, to kind of pick their brains on how this thing all works, provide some different perspective, uh, keep yep. things interesting. There's probably a shit ton of things we haven't even thought of I'll yet. I'll keep interrupting. We'll yeah, we'll, <laughs> oh God, we'll talk. Yeah. Over who's that other. guy? Yeah, who's yeah. that guy? It's the interrupting. This is Mark. the greatest, <laughs> the greatest six man podcast. You're ever <laughs> we got a lot of bakers up in oh, here. A lot of yeah. bakers, and we're keep fucking growing this. Yeah, that's keep right. growing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see where it goes. We'll get a hundred. And, oh. and, and our goal is to always many. end it with. Uh, what was it? Doan in Denver? Yeah, Doan in yeah, Denver. Doan in Denver. Denver. So, Denver so over to you, Bakers. Doan in Denver. 